Hey everyone, this is Regina, and today I'm going to be talking about my fashion wish list for spring 2023. Usually when it comes to like buying clothes and things like that, I usually just set myself like a monthly budget, but I find that even when I do that, I end up buying things that I don't really need or like things that don't really fit with what I already have in my closet. So this year I thought that I would just like kind of literally list down each and every single item that I kind of want in my closet or that I need in my closet and um and hopefully that will give me a little bit more of a clear guideline to follow um next year when I'm buying clothes and whatnot. So I divided this list into three different categories which are um needs, wants, and dreams. So we're going to start off with the needs section and these are basically just things that I feel like I need to add to my closet for spring um so first up we have a trench coat and i can't believe those words are coming out of my mouth because i hate trench coats um i don't know why i just think they're kind of like ugly um specifically trench coats that are beige i really don't like them and a lot of them that i see around in japan at least like a lot of the ones that I see are usually really wrinkly and stuff like that and they don't really look great um but I decided that this year I definitely need a trench coat or a trench coat like coat of some kind because um every year in spring I'm I get a little too excited for warmer weather even though in reality spring is still actually quite um chilly and cold in Japan so I definitely need some sort of outerwear for the springtime. Now I'm not going to get one in beige. Um, I'm trying to look for one that is kind of in a dark green or a very nice khaki color. Um, um, I'm hoping to find one that is thrifted but it might be a little hard to find one that is the color that I want and in the material that I want because as I said before like many trench coats like they seem to wrinkle very easily so I want one that's like a little wrinkle resistant. So the next thing on my list is sweaters, maybe two or three at most for the weather. And I kind of want to get sweaters that are a little colorful to match with the spring vibes. Um, and I don't really have any. And if I can find one that is textured, that would be like bonus points. But I think these are things that I can thrift as well. So the last thing on my needs list is a pair of straight or slim fitted jeans so like for the past year i was kind of interested in like the cargo pants trend but like in my heart of hearts i know that's not really a part of my style and that a pair of straight blue jeans would work much better for my usual everyday vibe um pretty basic i know um but i think what i've been influenced by a lot for the past few months or so is like this Parisian chic kind of look when I see someone with a pair of like straight um straight cut jeans they just look so good and effortless like it's hard to find a good pair of jeans that fit you well so um I think it's going to be a little hard for me to find a pair thrifted um I'm probably going to buy them new so the places that I'm looking at are one Uniqlo, Mousy, and Zara Okay, so that was my list of needs. So now we're moving on to my wants. And these are things that, um, that I'm interested in getting, but like I don't have to get them, if that makes sense. Or like if I have some extra money lying around, I'll probably indulge in one of these, um, but we'll see. So, ooh, so like the first one I have on here are a pair of Mary Janes um, in leather. So I got a pair of Mary Janes from Charles and Keith and, and they're in like, um, the PU fake leather and I do not really like them. I like the style of them, but like the more that I wear them, the more I'm like, ugh, it's not really giving and it's not really holding up the way that I want them to. Um, so I think I'm going to go ahead and bite the bullet and spend a little extra money for a pair of leather ones. Um, I think that I want a pair that has like a slight small heel to them, maybe like about two, no two is too small, maybe like from three to four centimeters or so, so that I can still walk around in them a lot. Um, I am going to America next January, so maybe I'll be able to find a pair there. If not, then I'll probably buy another huge bullet 
and buy a pair from I think the brand is called Fabino Rusconi or something like that um they have a pair of leather Mary Janes but those shoes cost like um somewhere around 200 US dollars so I'm just like mm, I really don't want to spend that money but like I don't really have a lot of options especially for my shoe size I'm a size of eight and a half in America and a size 25.5 in Japan and sometimes it's just really hard to find shoes of my size in the materials that I want so my options are small um, maybe I'll find a pair that I like in America but we'll have to wait and see about that so next up on my list of wants is a pair of white sneakers very simple I'm probably going to get a pair from Nike either one of the Air Maxes or one of the like waffle shoes. I'm not really sure if that's what they're called. But yeah, I usually just go with Nike. I don't really think much about it. Um, so that's a very plain and interesting one there. Next up on my list of wants, um, we have another pair of shoes, specifically a pair of rain boots. Um, so I'm like really tired of my feet getting wet <laughs> when it starts to rain in springtime. Um, I'm not really sure. I kind of want to get a pair of rain boots that not, not necessarily rain boots, but like even like a pair of boots that kind of look like riding boots um, would be nice. I'm not, I'm just not really sure about rain boots because I like them, but I'm a little intimidated by rain boots if that makes any sense. Like they look, they can look kind of childish really quickly. Um, so I'm just a little worried about that. Um, fourth is a fitted blazer. So I did buy a blazer um, for fall that is green um, and I do like it but like the more that I wore it throughout fall I was kind of wishing that it was a little bit more fitted and not as like wide. So I've been looking around for a blazer that's a little more slim fitting um, and uh, it's really hard to find one that I like um, and it's really hard to find one that doesn't look very like suity if that makes sense but i did find one from a brand called mila owen the thing is is that it's like how much is it usd it's like about 150 dollars usd um so i'm not really sure if i want to <laughs> buy that um and i'm not really sure if i want to get another green one or if i want to get one in navy as well i think i'm gonna have to go to the store and see like the materials of their clothes because i think with mila, mila owen like the clothes look cute but like Sometimes the material and the construction of the clothes just isn't up to snuff. So another thing on my list of wants is an Empire Waistline dress, um, preferably like a maxi dress. Um, I found one online secondhand, but then it was sold out. So I'm going to give it an eye out for that. Um, I'm probably going to get it in black. Um, because I just feel safe in black. Um, but we'll see if I decide to pick a different color. Like. No, I'm probably gonna go with black. Yeah, I have to be honest with myself. I'm probably gonna go with black. Um, so next up we have a maxi length um, A-line skirt. Um, so usually with A-line skirts, I feel like they're a little too A-line for my liking. Like I really love how feminine they make me feel, but at the same time, they're a little too like poofy, if that makes sense. So I'm basically looking for skirts that are kind of like narrow near the hip area but then slightly flare out towards the bottom. I remember getting this ad on Instagram from Max Mara which has like the perfect skirt that I'm thinking of. I think it's so beautiful and I really really love this outfit. Um, I definitely do not have Max Mara money but like that's the kind of skirt that I really really want so I'm gonna keep an eye out for it um, thrifting wise because yeah I do like to get things secondhand if I can. So, so the last thing on my list of wants is a drawstring leather purse. Um, I've seen a few around. I think that they're in like um, a fake leather, um, but I really want to find one in real leather. I just think that they're cute. I'm not really sure what color I want yet. And my last section is dreams. So these are the items that I dream of having. These are all, yeah, I think all of these are luxury bags. <laughs> yeah, I really love bags. Um, and this and this part of like my list is not like specific to spring. This is basically for the whole of 2023. So first up we have the Bottega Veneta cassette bag. I just really love the shape of this bag. I really love like this weird, um, not weird. I really love how the leather pieces are woven together. I just think it's really cute and chic um, and very modern. Um, I know that like, 
I think that the cassette like pillow bag, I'm not sure if it's called a pillow bag, where all the pieces are like really puffy is quite popular, but I definitely prefer the more slim version of it. But um, when I look at this bag, I do kind of feel like there are gaps in the weaving, if that makes sense. Like I feel like there would be gaps in the weaving. So that's something that um, I'm kind of concerned about, but I haven't seen the bag in person yet. So um, maybe next year I'll go to a store to check it out. The other bag that I really, really like, it's a Mulberry Small Iris bag. So I've never heard of the brand Mulberry before. Um, I was in a mall in Shinjuku and came across these bags <laughs> on the back floor um, and they were pretty nice. So like the first one that I saw was actually the um, M zip pouch. Like that's the one I was attracted to the most when I first saw it, but like after looking at some of the bags online, I definitely feel myself a little more drawn to the iris bag instead. I really love the woven handle um, on the top and I do like the shape of it. And I really love the brown color and the combination of the brown with the gold hardware. I think it's like very luxe feeling. Um, yeah, I think it's a really cute bag. I would have to go back and see how it feels again because I kind of forgot how it feels in my hands um but I thought it was actually quite cute and I think that they also have the Alexa bag as well and I thought I would mention that because you know there has been a lot of talk of like 2010s coming back um I still think it's a little early for that I feel like this is like the entry level point of the fashion trend cycle um but yeah I was like oh this is like the Alexa Alexa Chung it bag I didn't know that um yeah so that's a very interesting discovery that i made at the end of 2022 and that's basically my fashion wish list for spring 2023 please share with me what you're excited to buy this year are there any like dream handbags that you've got your eyes on please let me know in the comment section and if you're interested in more fashion and style related videos please subscribe and maybe i'll see you in the next video bye